The Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, was signed into law on March 23, 2010. Since that time, the President has made numerous attempts to unilaterally modify the law via regulatory language that is not consistent with the text of the law. One of the most egregious examples of these modifications pertains to the ability to provide subsidies to enrollees via the federal exchange, the infamous healthcare.gov. The legislative text of Obamacare speaks of the premiums as being only available through an exchange established by the state. 36 states have not established state exchanges and are instead relying on exchanges that have been established and are being operated by the federal government. In response to this attempt by the Obama administration to change the law with the President's pen and phone, one of the many lawsuits challenging the legality of the Affordable Care Act has been filed. Helbig versus Burwell, all, formerly known Hel as uh, Helbig versus Sebelius, is a lawsuit challenging U.S. Treasury Regulation 26 CFR Section 1.36B2A1, issued under the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. This is an extremely important lawsuit for both supporters and detractors of the Affordable Care Act. On July 22, 2014, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit ruled two to one in favor of the plaintiff. While on the same day, the separate case of King versus Burwell, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit ruled 3-0 in favor of Sylvia Burwell, the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Why is this Hall Hallberg versus Burwell case so important? Reason number one, rule of law. H.R. 3590, also known as Obamacare, states that insurance subsidies are only available through an exchange established by the states. President Obama attempted to unilaterally change the law and subsidize insurance plans via the federal exchange. This action is not authorized by the law and therefore illegal. The taxes instituted to pay for these illegal substitutes would also be illegal for states that defaulted to the federal exchange, i.e. Michigan. Why is the Helbig versus Burwell case on Obamacare so important? Reason number two, freedom. An estimated 8,311,967 individuals and 56,995,795 56 in the 36 states which choose to pursue the federal exchange, including Michigan, would be free from being subject to unlawful taxes. In Michigan, an estimated 288,130 individuals would be freed from the individual mandate, and an estimated 2,527,857 employees would be freed from the employer mandate including 110,576 government employees. Why is the Helbig versus uh, Burwell court case on Obamacare so important? Reason number three, economic. Individuals and employers within states that did not pursue state-based exchanges would not be subject to unlawful federal taxation. The lack of these illegal taxes would yield an effective tax advantage for individuals and employers within those states. This tax advantage would then incentivize states which did pursue the state-based exchanges to dump their exchanges in exchange for the federal exchange. And if all 50 states were to default to the federal exchange, there would be no insurance mandates and Obamacare would be effectively dead. All that would be left to clean up would be the removal of the 159 new organizations created under Obamacare and the removal of their burden to American taxpayers. If the Helbig versus Burwell case is ultimately ruled in favor of the plaintiff, it will be clear that Michigan citizens dodged a bullet by not adopting the state-based exchange. If a sufficient number of states choose to drop the state-based exchange, Obamacare is effectively dead with or without repeal. It was clear to those who read the law, as I did, that the President's actions to provide subsidies via the federal exchanges were in direct violation of the law. Now it is time for the court to rule once and for all on this matter. In the meantime, Michigan needs to stand in steadfast opposition to the state-based exchanges. This should eventually provide our citizens with a sorely needed get-out-of-Obamacare-free card.